In this short instructional video, we'll be looking at a tool that you can use to locate specific ebook or e-journal titles online. This tool is provided through our new WorldCat Discovery interface, and it's a really helpful way to determine whether or not Rosemont College provides access to a specific journal title or a specific ebook. So say I'm looking for the journal called October. It's simple enough to type it into the search bar here under title, click search, and on the results page, I'll see if we have access to this journal, and if so, where. So on the results, I see we have the full text available for the journal October located in our JSTOR collection and in our OmniFile full text collection. Here it becomes important to pay attention to the coverage as well. So in this instance for JSTOR, we have the coverage of October going back from 1976 to six years ago. Whereas in OmniFile, the coverage is only from 1997 to 2011. I can click the title and a new page will open in your browser linking you directly to that journal on the database in question. If you're off campus before you see this page you'll be prompted to log in with your Rosemont email address and password. But from here it's easy enough to browse through back issues or to search within this journal using JSTOR's interface. And this will work similarly for other journals in other collections. You'll notice as you're clicking through that each interface will look a little different. And that's because the journals are hosted in different platforms and different databases. EBSCOhost looks different than JSTOR and they will look different from journals hosted on individual publisher pages or in other databases like Nexus Uni. But generally speaking, all of these will give you access to the back issues of the journal in question where you can browse or search. You can also search by ISSN if you know the ISSN of the journal you're looking for. And this is a really helpful way to find the specific journal without worrying about whether or not you're spelling the title correctly. Now I'm gonna look for the journal Art Forum. And I see we found zero titles for your search. Please edit your search and try again. What this means is that Rosemont does not subscribe to the magazine Art Forum. If you see this, unfortunately that means that Rosemont College does not provide access to the journal you're looking for. If you think you've received this message in error, please reach out to library staff by emailing reference at rosemont.edu and we'll try and troubleshoot the issue you're facing. Searching for ebooks functions similarly. You can type in the title of the exact ebook you're looking for. In this case, we'll try Sense and Sensibility and click search. And here you'll see a list of results. This one by Jane Austen looks like it might be the one I want. So I'll click that title. And on the right, you see all the different options we have for accessing the full text of this ebook. Some of these links will be to subscription-based databases like our EBSCO ebook collection. Now, of course, Sense and Sensibility was not published in 2013. This date here rather refers to when the ebook was created in the collection itself. Or you'll see links to collections like Project Gutenberg, which is a large open access collection of public domain ebooks. Again, in either case, you'll see a full text link, which will bring you directly to that database or web platform. And from here, you can download the EPUB of the ebook or read more about this specific edition. You do also have the option to browse rather than search for results. You can browse through all of the journals that we have access to or all of the many ebooks that we have access to. But this can be really unwieldy considering we have thousands and thousands of journals and ebooks that we provide access to between our open access collections and our subscription based collections. So we recommend when using this tool to stick to the search function and to look for specific titles. If you're looking to browse through different subjects or conduct keyword searches for different subject areas, we recommend you use the main WorldCat Discovery interface. I hope this introduction will enable you to get started searching for individual journal and ebook titles. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to library staff here at Kistler Library by emailing reference at rosemont.edu.